welcome back to Super Hostile Dalania. Except it's Super Hostile Legendary. Except it's Mushrooms. So let's get into this. We got a whole party of people here. What's this octopus thing? I haven't seen that before. I don't think. It's a welcoming party. What are you? Let me take care of all the other things so I can get a good look at. They are a... Cecilia. Looks like they have magic attacks. So that's interesting. I don't think I've seen those before. Biomes this. Ocean, yeah. I can see us finding a whole bunch of ocean-y stuff we haven't seen before. Because typically we're not out in the ocean. We're mostly on land. So. Cool. Treasure slime. The treasure is slime this time. That's fun. All the old chests are replaced by sea lanterns. Neat, huh? Uh, I guess that's okay. So this used to be... There's a mermaid. Were you hostile? Eh, doesn't matter. This used to be... Reeds. Sugar cane. Now it's mushroom blocks. A bunch of mushroom blocks. Oh, it's skeleton three. Alright, we're gonna have some hostility coming here. Got some spooky black grass. Oh, now it's Mushroom Island. Well, that makes sense based on how it looks like a mushroom island. There's mushrooms! What's up? Oh, what is this thing? A Sharko? We're finding all sorts of wacky stuff over here. Did this trap ever get you? Um. Possibly. It's been a while since I played Legendary, but... Nice that this is a water trap instead of the old lava trap here. But I'm not going to rule out there just being an absolute ton of new traps here. I'm not entirely sure what we're going, with, going for here. Whether we're just going for a fun little reminisce on legendary or if there's more to this whole thing there's an invisible skeleton hey hey that's a chest I was informed that all the chests were replaced by sea lanterns like that one no huh? real chest yeah it's just a rambling chest I guess all the old chests were replaced Let's take that. Sea lantern. Guess if I want some sea lanterns, that'd be fine. What do we got down here? Yes, yeah, so this is the trap down here. Use the furnace. Then it drops the gravel onto that pressure plate and everything blows up. Which makes you sad because you want to collect all this coal and stone. Okay, I think I know what happened here. This is the 
Supercell Delania recreation of Supercell Legendary version. Random loot chest. And this button is the point of interest. So, this was the end point for when this dungeon was a dungeon there. So, anything else we got? Let's see what else there is to see in the various buildings over here. Oh, that zombie's not a spider. The spider's invisible. You can tell by the way that it is. Water's lower than I thought it was. All right. Let's head into the general store. Let me go up to the top first. Get a nice look out across the land. Yep, there's the various buildings. The big tree, now mushroomy. Nice big hole in this room. A random loot chest. A random loot chest. General store sign's gone. changing colors or something. This used to be TNT. This used to be lava. Archery shop. You can buy a bow and arrows here. Yes, this was this was part of Super Hostile Online. This was not here in Legendary. Instead of an archery shop, this was a tower with a fun box on top. So slightly more hostile back then. Here's the farm. Which also used to explode. Family chest. Box of boats. The entrance rail to get you down here. These leaves survived, it seems. And we're just doing... Okay. We're just doing the main island here, it seems. We head around the edge here. We can go to the other sides of this island. There's not too much in the middle here, really. I guess we go faster if we in the water. <laughs> it's part of the dungeon. the Ramloo chest. Let's head into the dungeon then. And a Ramloo chest. And Ramloo chest. Here's a Ramloo chest. Here's a 
There's a ladder. Interesting. I think this particular configuration here is also more from Super Assault Online. I believe that that's the version of this map that's being used here. Not the original one. Spawners. There's a tower over there. Keep heading this way. We'll make our way out of the mushroom forest. Down the water. And over to the other rail area. Doesn't go anywhere. I could use a drink. Yep. Use this area. A weird little fenced in area to be slightly safer while you look at all the minecarts and stuff in this place. But since it's just these islands here, I think that's pretty much all there is for explorable stuff in this Mushroom Legendary. So what I'm going to do is hop back on the Hippogriff. A sky view of all this. I guess that glass there counts as a hole on the map or something. There's also the big tree here. Which now contains, instead of a very fancy diamond axe, just a bunch of random loot chests. One benefit of this being made of mushrooms is you're not going to have any absurd levels of leaf decay going on. So, that's one thing to be happy about. Here's a, tr here's a tree. Is that just a real tree? Uh, well, possibly. I think what might have happened here is there were saplings strewn into the forest, and then some of the saplings grew. That could be it. It's just... There's some water here. So, a point of interest, good callback to earlier maps, not bad. And we did get the point of interest here, so we can continue on pretty much straight south of here. Like. 5,000 blocks <laughs> to get to the next point of interest. It's going to be mostly ocean, but we should cross over... Nope, that's not an island. That's actually underwater still. But there is going to be an island just later. 
Let me fly. Mushroom Legendary was point of interest 24. Off to the west, I'd say. Let's get ourselves a little bit further this way. The next one is back in the ocean again. If we just kind of stick to the edge of this island, a little farm here or something. This is nice. Let's look at this. They got a little cactus and reed farm. And carrots, wheat. Fancy floor. Random loot. Lots of cool stuff in here. Just a variety of all the different things used to build this little house. Nice pile of bread. Cool, cool, cool. This is not a point of interest. This is just a extra little random structure. Out here, at the far western point of this island here. Which also houses the brown wool. But that's not what we're here for. We are continuing on to the points of interest. Shouldn't be too much further now. It was significantly further from Mushroom Legendary to that island than it is to the next spot. So. We should be seeing it here pretty soon. Up oh, here it is. Another part of a dungeon. Um, I want to say spellbound caves, maybe. Something like that. Hey, how would you like to not be in the water anymore? Please don't drown. Just land on the bridge, please. Thank you. Here's the point of interest. Oh, it's Vex's. Alright, we need to take care of those. Alright, what do you got? A dispenser dispenses cactus. Okay. Fascinating. An endermite spawner. Not, not a fan of that. Enderman spawners. End stone. A bunch of spawners trying to be protected in here, but being super obvious, so I go and destroy it instead of getting attacked by it. What a weird dispenser. Some of those are still damaging potions and stuff. But one of them is also a cactus. So. 
Make it that way, you will. Interesting over here. He's a strong one. Squid guys. I guess this part of this is still technically in the ocean. Fair bit of natural spawns. Oh yeah, I like that. That's good. Alright, we need some water. Spider, invisible spider. He's so strong. Let's head over here. Oh, this is very on fire right here. Another dispenser that only dispenses cactus. Exciting. There you are. I seem to have dropped. No, I put the. How's it in here? Somebody had lift off. I guess I jumped really high and then somebody had lift off at the same time. So they combined their effects. There's still some of those magic guys around here somewhere. Dark spawns. Dark mages. Dark spawns. I hear very fast. There you are. Let's take care of him. Get him out of the picture. A tiny blight zombie villager. What a guy. There's one of them. Tested location, that's for sure. And we're back up here. Next to all the spiders. The spawners, there's toy spawners. Let's get rid of that. I can use a drink. Are being very in the way. How am I supposed to take a drink? You know, I'm being such a nuisance. Fire resistance potion. Don't need that. There we go. 
Taking a bit of damage here. That happens when we get into these whole magical systems. Getting shot by lightning. As far as underneath these. Oh. And they appear. And it's random loot chests. Who could have foreseen? I haven't even made it over that side yet. There's still a downstairs to check out, so let's go that way next. La 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 la. Just casually meandering in the dungeons. Well, I guess they're here. You blowing up my random loot chests? I don't appreciate that. Yep, there's a bit of XP for me. Six ran six spawners all right ne next to each other. My goodness. Yep, that looks like a random loot chest. A lot of them. A large quantity of random loot chests. Does not good loot make. This is just a weird underwater area, I guess. Cool. If there's any other ways down here. I think there was more down here originally. Alright. Not much over here, then. Just launching cactuses out. Because why not? Alright. So, dangerous area with a handful of random loot chests. Because why not, I guess. That throws cactuses at you. Because reasons, I suppose. And that is point of interest. 25. Not, not that we've explored 25 points of interest, mind you. But that's just number, number, number 25. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Okay. Nice little castle bit. Used to have more up and more down. This is just a section of it. Out here, in the ocean, no apparent reason. That's alright. But now we get to head back to the mainland for some more points of interest over here.
first one looks to be up in the mountains. We'll see how easy that is to find. First, let's find the main continent, though. That's a good first step here. And there it is. Here's one of the towers. We went a little bit too far. Gonna be up in these mountains somewhere, I think. It's probably this. It's probably this. Oh, I know this. This is the starting area. For Spellbound Caves. I wonder if Spellbound Caves 2 is going to use a lot of the map of Spellbound Caves, or if it's actually going to be a completely new thing. Family Chest. Because this map made a lot of use of prior assets. As long as it does a good job integrating all the new modded content, it should be okay. It's still a very good map. So that's, this version seems to have some more trees down here at the bottom. Here is the White Wool Dungeon. Skeleton with his diamond armor. What a lad. Random loot chest instead of farming stuff. Random loot chest instead of potion stuff. Enchanting chamber. Still functional. And down we go. The second part of the dungeon. There's a whole bunch of guys in a crevice over there. I don't think this crevice was here before. That's interesting. And we are down in the crevice. Zombie 3. That means there's spawners down here somewhere. Not that, that matters too much. Down here. Into the wool area. The dispensers have nothing to dispense. And the random loot chests. Have random loot. Very good. Have a drink. Have a snack. And then once we finish eating these golden apples, we can pick up those golden apples. It is a very self-sufficient system we got here. Protection four buck. That's pretty good. Do 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 do. Back out of the dungeon. And let's see if there's anything else here. This waterfall would go to more stuff. Bye, creeper. Bye, creeper. What do we got up here? Enemies! Hey. 
and chests that have been replaced with those. Don't know if he just does didn't have the schematics for what those chests used to have. Because even just the chests that used to be here. Or at least be something of interest. I think that's was that a void creeper that does that? It's never been a problem, so I haven't really cared about it. Oh, we're in the water so quick. If I wanted it to be really mean, they'd have bows. The skeletons? The skeletons do have bows. I guess this is, they have the melee skeleton spawners in here. I guess this is a melee skeleton. Oh, that's really what we're talking about. Random loot chest. Random loot chest. Various ores and stuff here. That's at least somewhat interesting. I saw you spawn. And then this goes around here to intersection one. We have some. This is the way to go to the Victory Monument. The set's full of skeletons and stuff. Chests replaced by lanterns. Exit way this way. Yep. Back to the main room. There's a ladder. Let's see what's up there. Random loot chest. And a ladder that goes to just the main Delania. So you just head down this ladder, and you're in a different map. That's happened a few times now. Can't be too surprised at this point. Okay. Let's see what's out the other ways. This direction. We got some ores and stuff. But no more map. And this direction, we've got another part outside, and it continues to the rest of this area. Yeah. Well, here, here's, here's. path down here. Oh, I've got bedrock. I was going to spawn in here. Crazy nonsense? That's crazy nonsense. Spell on guardian worshippers. So on to El Guardian. Cool. Ooh, we got diamonds over here. That's pretty neat. I'll take a stack of diamonds while I'm here. Might as well. 44. Get 
29. The Elder Guardian popped up. As if he was taking away my ability to... I need to repair some stuff. New York speed. Oh, not these guys. All right, we need to find another spawner. What's that? What I'm doing? There it is. Jumping. Oh my gosh, the amount of squid falling to their death. Are they in the... Man, I hope they're not in the bedrock spawners. That'd be unfortunate. These guys are really annoying. <laughs> They're definitely in that bedrock spawner there, so we want to get out of here as quickly as possible. Down in here. Random loot chest. Random loot chest. A lot of random loot chests. And that's fair because it's guarded by one of the worst kind of guys you can find in this area. You would think this chest has something different in it. You know, special and in the way. In the back. But nope. Rainbow chests. All day, every day. Out here we got random loot chest. Now this one's a dungeon chest. It's just full of all the same things, so. And now they're broken. Shame. Goodbye, hook horror. Have fun over there, I guess. Yep. I think this area being full of diamonds didn't matter because this was also the. It's all online version of this, so you couldn't. Oh no, this guy again. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, we gotta be quick about this. Let's see what there is to see and then get out of here. What there is to see over here is just so many random loot chests. And spiders. So many random loot chests and spiders. And the Vex are still around. I don't think this is the size of the dungeon that was here originally. It is spider tastic in here. The spiders are on fire. Just piles and piles of diamonds and spiders. That's what you're looking for. This hole in the desert is the place to be, I suppose. Oh. 
Here's a place with three spawners in it. This guy has a lot of health. <laughs> And effects. Health and effects. He's got them by the boatload. Oh, another one of these guys. I kind of want to take these guys out as fast as you can. They're just, they're just a little bit irritating. Overall. And this way has nothing. Alright. Put down my water. Put over these ink sacks. I mean, sure. That's good. I'll take that free jump. Take that, Elder Guardian. Alright. I think that's pretty much it for here. A whole bunch of random loot scattered about the old maps. Definitely goes to show you how large of a map Delania is when it can just have parts of all the other maps randomly strewn across it and you don't notice that they're there unless you're really looking for them. So that's pretty funny. Alright. Well, that is point of interest. 23. And yeah, there's the other hole. Got a little water falling down into it. It's just holes in the ceiling all over this place. Cool. Alright. From here, I'm gonna go this way. Across the mountains. And down by down by the water, I think. Here's a town. I don't think we've visited before. There's a big hole. This might be something. How much further does the land go this way? This might be what we're looking for. Oh yeah. This is definitely the something. Let's find a good place to park. Put on this roof. Let's make this a little safer for the hippogriff. I think it's probably gonna be down that hole. But first we will take care of the spawners in this blacksmith shop. I'm betting these ruins have a name. So I will check up on that on the map. And then we can start Exploring here. 
in some ruins. Next time. Goodbye.